Hey, what's up guys? It's McDiak here, and today I'm bringing you some uh, Dead Island Riptide. It uh, just came out today, and uh, I played the first one. first one was really good, you know. I've been uh, waiting for this, actually, to come out. It looks looks pretty good right now. Look at this uh, background. Well, let's get playing, because it's probably a long cutscene for the beginning. Hmm. Alright, I was... I was... I never tried Sam, but I think I'm going to try John. My grandfather fought the Japanese. And we don't need to hear a life story, left. John. We just Married need to start girl. this game. My father was native born and a sergeant major, so I'm second generation military. And from mm. the time I was ten, what I should wanted I pick, to follow guys? in their footsteps. What do you think? I wanted to be a soldier and protect and defend pick... this country against all enemies. Well, I did my job. I think balance would be the best. Did what I was told. Always followed. All right, let's listen to this cutscene. My name's Perna. I'm gonna tell you about the worst bloody holiday ever. I was at the Royal Palms Resort on Benoit, working as a bodyguard for some asshole CEO. I figured once he left the island, I'd have a good week to relax on the beach, enjoy a Mai Tai or two. But no, that wasn't to be. As I woke up one morning to discover that the goddamn zombie apocalypse had arrived. A local lifeguard by the name of Cinnamon saved my life. Soon after that, I discovered I was immune to whatever this plague was. I met a few others who were immune, and somehow we were all elected to save everybody else. There was Sam B, a one-hit wonder hip-hop star from the States. Logan, an ex-football player and full-time douchebag who never missed a chance to hit on me. And Shin Mei, a sweet little hotel clerk who was as brutal with a blade as anyone I had ever seen. Together, we went to Norsby to try to gather more supplies. And from there, things really went to hell. The army tried to contain the infection, but they were bloody useless. Benoit itself was totally isolated. It was pretty clear we were on our own. At this point, we just wanted off that goddamn island. And that's what led us to that maximum security prison. You see, some dickhead colonel by the name of Ryder White lied to get us to track down what he thought was a cure for this zombie plague. Well, that cure ended up turning White into a giant bloody maniac. Luckily, we hooked up with a prisoner who flew us out of there on the colonel's helicopter. We were off that goddamn island at last. And everyone we tried to save back on Benoit, well, they just didn't make it. Except for that little native girl, Nerima. We spotted that naval vessel just in time, as we were just about out of petrol. We couldn't believe how lucky we were to finally find a safe haven. Ah, oh, that was just, that was a really nice cutscene. I really like to get to playing the game though, that would be really helpful. It's already been three minutes. Uh, another cutscene. Bikini babes. Get your hands off me! What the hell? What is going on here? Oh, get off me! Uh, get it off me! Get it off! <laughs> What's with the cops? Sorry, but I can't take any chances. My orders are to take you into custody and transport you to a secure quarantine area. And who the hell are you? Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Hardy. Don't resist and you'll be fine. We just need to be sure you don't pose Man, a threat. we no threat. The threat's on Benoit. You have any idea what's happening back there? We have an idea. We're hoping you can help us fill in the details. Especially her. You keep the hell away from her. Frank Serpo. I should have guessed. Are you the one in charge of this clusterfuck? Watch yourself with this guy. This freak would sell out his own mother. If he had one. Take the immune down to the lab. 
He kind of looks like Tony Stark. Just a little. Hey, do we look like goddamn guinea pigs to you? I'm a citizen of the USA, man. I got motherfucking rights. Back off, Serpo. But just stay out of it. <laughs> Don't do that again. One less immune won't make any difference. Now take him to the lab. You may have command over Pelinai, but on this ship, I'm in charge and I have my orders. Your orders are to follow my orders, Colonel. Would you like me to call your superiors? Somebody tell me what the fuck is going on here. I didn't think that military guy was that bad of a person. That guy that looks like freaking Tony Stark. He is a bad person. Now, we're not going to get into much gameplay, but you know, you see the few cutscenes, it looks pretty good. I want to see how the gameplay is and where the heck I come and play because I'm not even one of the four. Maybe they found. They have a very high tolerance, Mr. Serpo. I've already administered three doses. So how much longer? You said we'd have results by now. Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Man, these cutscenes are really long, actually. Maybe I'll just get like a 15 minute careful. video at least. We don't want them dying on us. What about the native woman, Yerima? That's a more complicated case. She's being taken to another location. Don't worry, I'm keeping a close eye. Oh, God. Oh, my head. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, motherfuckers drugged us. Who are you? Oh, there I am. Hey, we're talking to you. I'm nobody, really. You've been bitten. How long has it been? Long enough. I guess it doesn't affect me. So you immune too? So it seems. What? They plant you here to spy on us. <laughs> right. That's one beat to shit like this. It's all part of my cover. So they tested you too? Yeah. I'm guessing they're trying to figure out why we're all immune to How'd this. How'd you get here? I was a soldier before the shit hit the fan. Part of a huge humanitarian search and rescue operation. And then that civilian arrived. So. Right. Suddenly, the military was no longer in charge, and the rescue operation was called off. So what are they up to? All I know is there's a naval blockade around the entire archipelago. No one's allowed in or out. Whatever the fuck is going on, there's nothing to do with humanitarian efforts. That's pretty clear. Christ, I'm still woozy from these bloody drugs. Uh, guys, I think I'm actually going to be able to play oh, yeah. now. Where are the others? Well, they must have taken if you hear the creaking out. in my chair, my bad. Uh, it's a little too loud still for my uh, headset. All right, let's go see what this, this is all is about. This is a fucking dog's breakfast. This is Colonel Hardy. The ship's been compromised. If you're down in the hold, I'm opening all the cell all right, doors. Nice to the better head topside. Get my bearings. <laughs> Can I use anything for a weapon? Anything. Looks like the crew already bailed. Get out of the cells. Where can I open the door? Oh, the door's already open. Alright. Making some progress. Something's there. I just usually pick up random stuff because it gives me... can make some... Uh, make that new weapon that came out or the new modification of barbecue mod and I thought that was pretty cool. Find a way to the second deck. I guess my character is like a little seasick. Looks pretty drunk. Why can't I get out? It looks like somebody died here. Oh crap, that kinda hurt. 
but it's okay because I'm an invincible mother. <clears throat> I can't say that. I need to find a weapon. Where's a weapon? Give me a weapon. I guess that works. That entire area will be cut off. Does anyone copy this? Captain, we had to withdraw from the lower deck. We didn't. Jesus, they're here! Poor bastards still trying to command a d. It's ship. I think I'll just use this crowbar. I don't think I'll have any problems with uh, using heavy weapons. Maybe we'll take that out, but different weights. Oh, Fuck! Ooh. Mm. Damn ship's coming to pot. Well. Alright, there's no clear objective. I guess I'm down the slide a little bit. Have to extinguish that fire. I was right. Now we go back up. Alright. The way should be clear. Yeah, that's right. Give me a commendation. Save your lives. Up the ladder. Ooh. I heard that. You gotta be fucking kidding me. They're oh, whoa, here. hey. Man. I'm really starting to get sick of this shit. I'm gonna forget about you guys as I uh, just stay on the floor. Sorry, I hear a little beeping. I'm not sure what's supposed to be in the game or that's just in the background. I think that's. I've got to find a way out of here. You might be able to hear the TV in my background, but I can't do much about that. Throwing over the one two punch. Oh, hey. Don't lay your hands on the other man. Without asking permission first. I can't use that wrench anyways, but I'll take it to sell it. Same with these. Actually, I think I'll use these knuckles. Alright. Hmm, maybe there's something back here. I was right. Medkits. Hey. <laughs> Ooh. Broke his legs and arms. Now there's something down there. I already know it. Yeah, there's something down here that I can open. You always gotta go in these kind of places. Oh, never mind. Just backtracking. Hey, okay. Son, sit down. Sit down, son. Why didn't none of these people have money? Oh, right. Oh, 
first kiss with money. Oh boy. Uh, there goes my appetite. I think I'll just kill these zombies. Then I'll uh, probably play this some more and I'll get back on to you when I have uh, gone a little bit more into the storyline. I'm not going to actually stop unless uh, I might put, I'm posting up some uh, dual commentary with my friend. Uh, you should get this game tomorrow. But until next time, stay McDiac. Remember to press that like button down there to give me a toilet. And I'll see you guys later. Alright.